Hi, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see that how we can build a Docker image from an existing Spring Boot web application. And we will also see that how we can run a container using that image through Docker desktop. So without any delay, let's get started. I have this one of my clients legacy web application, which is already running in an organization with having more than 300 in-house users. But now I got this task to containerize this application. The application is built on Spring Framework using JDK 8 and runs in Tomcat server. But what they are doing is they're just maintaining all the dependencies manually by putting all the jars inside this lib folder. So instead of having some sort of build automation tool like Maven or Gradle, etc. This is a stateful web application and renders the view through JSP in combination with tag library. Okay, so now my task is to migrate this project to support some kind of build automation tool and then containerize it. So I just migrated one module of this application into this new project, which is running fine so far. Let me run this project and show you guys the progress. Okay, so here's the login screen. Login and I just migrated this module. Okay, so, so far it is working fine. Okay, now everything looks good. Now let's close this application and let's containerize this application. First we need to package this project in WAV file and then build a Docker image with Tomcat and Java including our project's WAV file. Okay, so let's do this. Let's create a Docker file and I'm going to create Docker file in the root folder of this project. New file. Docker file. Okay. Now here in this file, we need to provide the steps to build the image. So from here, we need to specify the base image of the container. So in our case, we need an image which has Tomcat as well as Java. And for that, I found this image, Tomcat 9-JDK8. Okay. Now let's specify the working directory. And here I'm going to specify the path to Tomcat's home directory, which is user, local, then Tomcat. Okay now then i'm going to run this command remove everything from the web apps folder okay since we are already in the tomcat folder so we do not need to specify the complete path right and after that we are going to copy the var file inside the web apps directory okay so copy the var file from the target folder which is cygnus-0.0.1.var hyphen and copy this folder inside this web apps directory, right? Signals.war. Now Tomcat runs on port 8080 by default. So we need to expose that port so that it can be accessible from the host machine or from the other containers, right? So expose port 8080. Then finally, let's send the command to start the Tomcat service, cmd. Catalina.sh run. So for now, I think these instructions are enough to build the image which can run the application. Okay. So let's move to the second part, which is adding plugin in our POM file. So save this file, open the POM file, find this plugin section, and here. Let's define one more plugin. Copy this, paste it here. Now replace this group ID with io.fabric8 and replace this with docker may1 plugin. Right. 
the version is 0 0.39.0 okay and now remove this and here first I'm going to tell that where to host the docker image I have docker desktop already installed on my system right which exposes a URL to docker daemon so let me show you go to settings and here you can see the URL to the daemon and yes make sure this should be checked now copy this URL from here go to your form file open the tag docker host okay paste the URL here right so now the next tag that I want to set is verbose and I want to set it to true okay setting this option to true it basically means that when we run the build it is going to print all these steps in a docker file in the console it is completely up to you if you want to enable it or not okay so now let's provide the images to this plugin okay, images and inside this images tag I'm going to open one image tag and here we need to specify the name of the image and to maintain the naming convention I'm going to provide the image name like project name then colon and then project version and for that I can use the variable of pom file itself so open the name tag project dot artifact ID and then colon project dot version okay now let's open the build tag and now we are going to give the build instructions to the plugin and since we have all the instructions already there in our docker file we just need to provide the directory where our docker file is and for that open this tag docker file dir and again I'm going to use the variable of the pom file which is project.basedir which basically means the root directory of our project okay so this is it for the pom file and I think we are good to go now now save this file and let's open the terminal to package the project and build the docker image go to window show view terminal and from here choose this option local terminal click on ok and now move to the directory where we have our docker file in my case I have this in inside this folder cd signals dir and here you can see the docker file now run this command mvnw package docker build hit enter wait for the process to complete this could take few minutes depending upon the internet speed okay it is done now go to docker desktop here you can see the images now run this image go to optional setting and provide the port on which we want to access the tomcat from the host machine okay let's say 8090 and not to mention here use the port which is not already in use okay here you can specify the image name whatever you want let's say web app click on run wait for a few seconds now go here containers and then click on this link okay now let's provide our application context which is Cygnus and here we can see the login page and up to this point our application is working fine but when I click on login we will not be able to log into the application because this container is not able to access the database which is running on host machine so to solve this issue we need to change the connection string to the database okay and in this project the connection string is here inside this DB helper scroll down and here 
and yes i know this is a bad practice but no issues i will fix this as well but for now let's change this connection string so that our container can access the database which is quite simple we just need to replace this local host with host dot docker dot internal and that's it let's save this file go to docker desktop stop this delete this container images delete this image as well okay we don't need to delete this tomcat for now okay now go back to eclipse and run this command again okay build success go back to docker desktop again run this application open settings 8090 web app run go to containers launch this now the context path which is Cygnus click on login and now we are able to log into our application okay and it is working fine right so this is how we can build a docker image of existing spring boot web application using maven plugin so this is it for this video if you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye bye and take care